Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. If it's your first time, give this video a like. Think about giving it a subscribe if you want. We do a lot of cool stuff on here and I'm only building as we go. I have a lot of projects coming in and I'm out shop all the time and we've got a new one. I don't know how excited I am about this one, but it will probably be my biggest flip ever as far as what I'm actually gonna make on one. I think my biggest one so far has been about $8,000 and that was on a mini excavator. Did that a few years ago. But this one, as far as how much money I've invested into it, will by far be the biggest one. Um, at sitting right now, I'm looking at about a profit of $275. And that's if I don't do anything else to it. Um, if the person comes and gets it, if family comes and gets it, if it's still got a lien on it, doesn't matter. I've still made 275 bucks on it, free and clear. And this, if I have to fix it up and sell it, it'll still be a pretty good ding. I'm gonna probably make, I'm a guess, hopefully $15,000 on it. Kinda of unique situation how we, we came across this one. But what I've got, is I have a 2006 Forest River Lexington. It's a 283 RV. It was sitting in a Walmart parking lot for about nine months. The lady was living in it, and one of the customers at Walmart was a little concerned about her. She had talked to her a couple times and thought that she may not have been in the right frame of mind, and she called the authorities. They came out and did a wellness exam, wellness test on her, and they found her not fit to live by herself nor was the rv livable and i can understand this thing smells so bad have you ever had something smell so bad that it so th makes the air so thick you can almost chew it yeah that's what we got going on in this rv it is terrible i wish i wish i could get you guys to understand how bad it smells but Back to the story, so they took her away. She got out of, she had a 72 hour hold, mental hold, because they, they found her incapable of taking care of herself. They let her out. And when they let her out, she contacted the Walmart and told them, listen, I, I don't feel like dealing with the RV anymore. Do what you guys gotta do with it. Well, Walmart decided, you know, let's give her a few months, because they didn't want to have to deal with it. The Walmart that I'm dealing with they don't have an impound service, so they have to call somebody to move it, and you know they didn't want to pay, so they thought maybe, hopefully, she'd come back for it. Three months later, it was still there. Day before Memorial Day, they knew the Walmart parking lot was gonna be packed, so they called me to come get it. And they had a key for it, which I thought, hey, no big deal. It had a key, it got there, so biggest thing I might have to do is put some gas in it and, and drive it home. My tow trucks aren't big enough or capable enough to haul this thing because if you see from the back tire to the back bumper, that's about 10 feet and that's too much overhang to be able to put on a tow truck. I have a, one that's got a bed that's 30 foot long. It can take the RV, but it can't take that overhang. It won't, it won't make it up the ramp. So we made the decision to drive it. We got up there and uh, it started, but it ran terrible. I played with it, thought maybe the gas was bad, put some new gas in it. Didn't get any better, didn't get any better. Check engine light was on, so went to Harbor Freight, which was right down the street, and I've never used a Harbor Freight scanner before. I was an hour away from the house, and I didn't want to drive back and get my snap on, so I thought, we'll give one of their scanners a try. What's the worst it can do? Not work, which for Harbor Freight, that would be a first, right? But I went and got this, that Zurich ZR8. And believe it or not, guys, that thing's a pretty capable little scanner. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but it does live data. And I had an idea that it was the throttle body being bad. Hooked up the scanner, and sure enough, every single code that could be on for the throttle body was on. Went down to O'Reilly's, ordered a throttle body, waited about an hour and a half for him to get it from another store, and put it on. Truck fired up, and um, I drove it home. Had no issues, and I've still had no issues out of the way it runs. But the issues is gonna come from everything else. You can see she's been uh, she's been fixed a couple times. I mean, outside of it doesn't look bad. The only real issue I can see 
is this slide won't go in. I don't know if that's because she's got too much crap in the bedroom. Once you guys see inside, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But this thing, interior, is so dirty, so nasty. It's, it's gonna be a miracle if I can get it clean, which I'm hoping I can, because I really think cleaned up, I'm gonna have to put new awnings up there, get the new awnings on. There's three awnings for the slides. Get a new awning on it, on both sides fix the interior which guys i'm gonna take you for a tour right now and this may be the most disgusting thing you'll ever see the step is broken we can hear it working but it's broken this is the kitty litter box there were seven cats and four dogs in this thing plus the lady and my god does it smell this is a kitty litter box that i don't think she ever emptied she just kept putting cat litter on top of old cat litter and turds and poop and all that crap that it's got to come out i can't do anything with any of her property until 30 days i've now impounded it um so i have 30 days i sent her a letter but the funny thing is her address is say one two three four forest river drive and funny thing is this is a forest river rv so i don't believe she was living anywhere but out of this rv so I'm sure in a couple days I'll get the letter sent back saying, you know, return to sender, not a good address. Um, you can see she's got some water damage up there in that corner. It's not gone to there. So we're going to get in that and look here a little bit. But you can see this thing is the most disgusting. It's like a crime scene. It's so bad. We got cat poop there. This is all of her belongings. I have to inventory everything. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, to me, this is biohazard. I have refused to open that up. I will not touch that refrigerator until I know it's mine. I didn't see. I don't know what that is right there, but that can't be good. So, door's broken back there. I don't know. She probably punched it. I, I don't know. I don't know what went on in this place, and I don't care. She's got some mold. We'll address those issues. Her rocking chair, hate to get rid of that, but that sucker's gotta go. Man, I mean, that's a pretty much a brand new thing of dog bones, and that sucks. All this canned food, I'm gonna donate to the, I'm gonna donate all the canned foods to the, the local animal shelter. But just giving you guys a little, little look here. I looked online in this particular unit, for the year for this unit, I'm finding them between 25 and $30,000. And uh, if I have to sink eight, 10, I don't think I'll have to sink more than six grand in it, but we'll say to the high end, I'll have to sink eight into it. Um, I stand to make 20 grand on it, between 15 and 20 grand. If I can find a wholesaler to give me 15,000 as it sits, I'll let it ride on down the road, but we won't know if we own it until another 30 days. But tomorrow I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for the clean out. I'm sure it's going to get interesting and probably a little ugly. But yeah, so that's our next flip in our series. Get the Polaris Ranger gone, hopefully in the next few days. Got a video coming out on it in the next couple days probably. Kind of showing you uh, guys the rebuild process on the suspension. But that's going to be coming. Hopefully it'll drop tomorrow. This probably will drop tonight. That'll drop tomorrow. And then maybe the day after that we'll get the clean out video of this. That should be interesting. That's I've done repos and impounds a long time and they tend to get pretty ugly, but this might be the worst one. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, please give me a big like, uh, subscribe if you want. I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing this for the last 15, 20 years, just making money a little bit at a time. You don't make it all in one shot, but this will be the next one in the series. So thanks for stopping by guys. I appreciate it.